Indoor cycling aboard a turbo trainer on your own bike or in a gym on a static bike is more popular than ever thanks to the growth of cycling in this country and of course the unpredictable British weather. Just make sure you avoid these common mistakes to ensure your maximal gains don't turn into maximal pains. Whether you're clamped into a turbo trainer or riding a gym bike, ensure you're set up correctly to both maximise performance gains and reduce the likelihood of injury. If you're using a turbo, make sure it's level. Many trainers come with a front wheel block to balance out the rear wheel, which is ever so slightly off the ground due to the turbo trainer's rear flywheel. Use this block. A subtle change in saddle angle can be the difference between a comfortable ride and a painful one. As for gym bikes, lining up your hip with the saddle is a good start. Most people will also benefit from the handlebars being slightly higher than the saddle for a more comfortable, sustainable position. If you're riding to the backdrop of an indoor virtual simulator, you'll be guided by the on-screen coach to play around with the aspects of your riding, like cadence, how quickly you pedal, and resistance. Both improve your cycling-specific technique and fitness. However, just be careful with that resistance knob. Over-tighten and you could overload the knees, leading to an injury. Glance over at a peloton's worth of gym bikes, and you'll notice the other cyclist's legs going like the clappers. It's the human equivalent of a hamster wheel and we must applaud the effort. But for them and you, also learn to rein it in, enjoying some indoor sessions at no more than 70% of your maximum heart rate, a pace you should comfortably be able to chatter. It'll still boost endurance, but also protect your immune system. Indoor cycling is a great alternative to riding outdoors and you'll enjoy the same benefits, namely weight loss, improved lean muscle mass and increased strength. The one thing that isn't naturally replicated, however, is the cooling airflow, meaning it's easy to heat up, unless you take the necessary steps. An indoor studio workout should include air conditioning. At home, go for a fan. Cycling's a peaceful, almost zen-like activity that cleanses the mind of all life's ills. Unless, of course, you buy a turbo trainer for home that's louder than a Tour de France crowd. Not only will it irritate you, you'll soon become the least popular resident in your neighborhood. Seek expert advice on noise levels before you buy. Yes, you can hop on an indoor bike in your normal gym wear, but if you're doing a turbo session at home or an organized cycling session at the gym, we'd recommend for you to wear what you would for an outdoor ride. That means cycling specific shoes, relevant pedals, cycling clothing, and maybe even a spot of chamois cream to avoid chafing. So to summarise, indoor cycling can be a great way to maximise your time and effort. So keep these top tips in mind next time you're mimicking Chris Hoy. We want to know your thoughts, so please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to click here to subscribe to Team Bath and click on either of these boxes to find out more.